This is a woman probably following her head more than her heart and yeah. saying, you know, I'm at a time in my life and I want to settle. Um, and do you need to have that conversation? Do you, do you follow your head or your heart? Um, I've definitely always somebody who's followed my head in relationships. I, I, I don't kind of know why that is, really. I mean, obviously, when I was your age, mm. I just kind of would date people, say, oh, yeah, I find you attractive, I'd like to spend some time with you. You're not kind of overthinking things. Yeah. And, but when you get older, um, particularly when I started dating, when I, had a, I was a single mum mm. and I had a young child, all sorts of things that are... It's not just about you and this person, mm. it's about your child, are they somebody that ultimately you'd yeah. want your child to meet? Or, you know, da, da, da. It, and it's you know it it can be quite scary, I suppose, if you're going to sit a bloke down and go, well, okay, I don't really have time to sort of you know have a spontaneous muck about relationship mm. here. I need to know certain things. Here are the conditions. And it yeah. takes a, it takes a certain kind of guy to to take that on mm. board. Um, but I kind of think if they don't, then they're not the right person for you. Mm. So it takes uh, a certain kind of guy. Yeah. I mean, Nicole, Nicole Sheldon is 37, and I was that age when I met Amy. I was 36, and I knew I wanted a family. And previous relationships, you know, I maybe had come close, to, could have come close to marrying, but I just knew deep <coughs> down that, that it wasn't quite right, you know, that I hadn't found that man I wanted to marry and have children with until I met Eamon. But obviously, he had children from, from his first marriage. And I did have that conversation really quickly. And I did think, you know, this is either going to send him running for yeah. the hills mm. or he will understand it. Unfortunately, he understood it. And I said, you know, I'm 36, I want a family. There's no point me going down this road, mm. falling in love with you, having a relationship, and two years down the line, you say, oh, God, no, me, I don't want any more children. Yeah. And that's another two years, you're then 38. So I think I understand women at that age where you kind of go, yeah. it's important to have that I mean, maybe Nicole... I, I don't know, she's been on the show, and I'm trying to remember whether we asked her, but it's that annoying question you do get asked as a woman when you don't have children, but maybe she doesn't want children. Because okay. I would say if at 38 you do want children, then dating younger men is great, but dating younger men at the height of yeah. their career, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're not, not going to be in a place where they want mm. to have children. Mm. So, you know, she you needs know, to cut a crack on it with It amazes me thought. how many letters I get from couples who have never had that conversation. Yeah. And so they've, they've gone on and on and on, five or six years, then they get married, and then one of them says, when are we having kids? But before and they get married, they haven't had the they conversation. They haven't had it, no. Well, and then the husband or the wife goes, I don't want kids. And it's like, I get it's mainly from breaker. women saying, Huge. I don't know what to do because obviously I love him, he's, he's perfect in every way, but he doesn't want kids. And I know mm. I do, and do I wait five years hoping he'll change his mind? And it's really, really difficult it because is. then you kind oh. of, you've got to weigh up, okay, do I leave this man of my dreams? How do you know you're going to meet anyone else that's, exactly. you know... Gonna... See, that happened yeah. to her, it just reminded me now, you saying that, it happened to a friend of mine where she was married for years and years and years, he was adamant he didn't want children, they split up over it. He then met somebody else and had a child. Oh, and she nice. never did. That's just annoying. What about you, Vicky? Have you, I mean, you've said you used your head when it came to Spencer there. I just thought, no, I'm, I'm worth more than that. Yeah. Do you, do you look at the future of the kind of man that you want to be with? It's hard for me because I don't aspire to the usual sort of family, husband, yeah. kids type thing that women, I suppose, are meant to. I'm really career orientated, And if I'm totally honest, I don't really want kids. So You're I so, only 28. Yeah, I, it's not on my radar anyway, but yeah. I have to I have to be quite honest the opposite way. Mm. Like, I know I'm only 28 and I'm not looking for a husband, but I'm not messing around with loads of Mr. Right Nows either. Mm -hmm. And if I was to meet someone, it would be because I cared about them and seen a bit of longevity, and I would have to be honest with them as well. The, I'd ha yeah, yeah, I'd have to put my cards on the table straight away and say, kids aren't really in my plan. And if yeah. that put them off, then we're obviously just not meant to be. So do you feel before you've just kind of gone out with people without really thinking, is this guy really right for me? Yeah. You just enjoy the fun the and... The moment. Oh, God, yeah, I've had a couple of missed our right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> and we all, I suppose. I, um, it was funny, when I met Ray, I met Ray when I was 35, and um, he was 42 when I met him, and it was the opposite way around. He, he, one of the first things he said to me in our conversation, we, we were getting to know each other, and he knew I was just divorced and had two kids, and he was saying... I'm so broody. I'm broodier than any woman. I'm really ready oh. to have a child. And he oh. really... And it was, a, it was a, a, a massive thing for him that... Because I've said to him since, if I'd have said to you, look, I've got my kids, I'm just what I don't want anymore, he said, I couldn't have been with you because I knew I wanted a child. Wow. So what I mean, did you, lucky, how did you feel when he said that? I was pregnant the next day. <laughs> Just fell off. <laughs> well, I did. I thought, oh, I'm 35.
if I'm back, I'm dead. Because <laughs> my <laughs> type of I can still have them. Get but if you asked him, would he have, if you'd have said, oh, gosh, no, I don't want more children, you know, I've got my two boys, mm. I'm, I'm, that's me, stopped at two, would that have uh, changed him then? No, he wouldn't have carried on no. the relationship, definitely. He knew he wanted a child. What I loved about it was he got to 42 and he hadn't... He wasn't. He didn't just want to go out and have a child with someone. You know what I mean. He yeah. could have done that, but he didn't. He didn't want yeah. to do that. He wanted. He'd had loads of relationships, but none of them had been right. Yeah. Where he thought we 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 should have a child. Until I came along. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. How long was he? <laughs> waiting for the woman of his dreams. Yeah. If you thought that got heated, wait until you watch these and click here to subscribe. You may as well. It's totally free. Every parent thinks that their child is amazing. No, like, I don't. You know... I don't. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think my child is wonderful. I love yeah. and adore him. He's the best yeah. thing since sliced bread in my eyes. Yes. I don't think he's amazing. You know, 